Assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to discuss trigonometric functions of sum and difference of two angles now if we have two angles suppose x and y are two angles then we have to find you know the value of cos of suppose cos of x plus y cos of x minus y sine of x plus y or sine of x minus y so this means to find the trigonometric uh, functions of uh, sum and difference of two angles so we will firstly prove this one this is basic this cos of x plus y equals to cos of x cos of y minus sine of x sine of y from this equality we will you know deduce all the remaining equalities now for this in order to prove this we will consider a circle with the radius of any radius and uh, center at origin that is this one this is the circle on this circle we may we will consider in the four points point p1 point p2 point p3 and point p4 in this manner now here of p1 is the radius vector such that the angle between this or the angle is here x radian now when angle is here x this means that this coordinates of this p1 are cos of x plus sine of x here the radius of this is unit circle or simply this is a unit circle if it is not unit circle then we will consider then the coordinates of this point becomes or cos x and or sin x for simplification we will simply consider r to be one that is we will consider uh, we consider here a circle whose center is uh, origin and the radius is one now now here we have to consider p2 as a point or we consider p2 as here point such that the angle between or the angle p1 o oh, p2 is y that is this angle is here y this angle is y now when this angle is y this means that this whole angle this angle it is x plus y it is x plus y now when the angle is here x plus y this means that the coordinates of p2 or cos of x plus y sine of x plus y sine of x plus y similarly we will consider this p3 as a point such that the angle p4 o p3 is minus y is minus y this means that the coordinates of this point this point this point p3 or cos of minus y sine of minus y now here this point p4 clearly its coordinates are 1 0 because here radius is 1 radius is 1 and angle is 0 so this means that cos 0 sin 0 cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so this means that coordinates of p4 are 1 and 0 now clearly here we have two triangles or simply firstly we will join this p1 and p3 p1 and p3 and then p2 and p4 now this is here construction now we will consider these two triangles triangle p1 this triangle this triangle triangle p1 p1 o p3 and p2 o p4 this one here these two sides this side and this side they are both radii this side and this side they are both radii this means that two sides are equal or the corresponding two sides of these two triangles are equal also here one angle in this triangle is here it is simply y in magnitude this angle is also y so this means that one angle is equal this means that these two triangles are congruent these two triangles are congruent because by side angle side property when tri triangles are con congruent this means that these two triangles are actually identical when these two triangles are identical so we can conclude that this p1 p3 third side equals to p2 p4 p2 
P4. So by distance formula, P1, P2 equals to P2, P4 or P1 square, P3 equals to P2, P4 square. Now we will use here the distance formula between two points x1, y1, x2, y2. This is simply root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. Or simply if we cancel the root, it is simply x1 minus x2 ka square plus y2 minus y1 ka square. Here we have these four points with the coordinates a cos of for p1 coordinates or simply coordinates are simply cos x sin x cos x plus y sin x plus y cos x minus y sin x minus y and 1 and 0 now use the distance formula here now when we use distance formula now p1 p3 now coordinates of p1 are cos x cos y coordinates of p3 are cos minus y sin minus y now using x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square it is simply cos x minus cos of minus y cos square plus sin x minus sin y cos square because if we have these two points then distance between these two points is root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square now by squaring on both sides it is simply a, a b square equals to x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square also you know that cos of minus y is cos y and sine of minus y is minus sine y because the sine of you uh, know it in a uh, or you discuss it this in uh, sine of trigonometric function this means that cos x minus cos y square plus sine x plus sine y square because this minus will become plus with this sine of minus y now break this square it is cos square x plus cos square y minus twice cos x cos y now in this we have sin square x plus cos square y plus twice sin x sin y now cos square x using the identity cos square x plus sin square x is 1 cos square y plus sin square y is 1 so this means that 1 plus 1 is 2 minus twice cos x and plus twice cos x now name it first now the second one is p2 p4 cos square like we find in this coordinates of p2 are cos x plus y sin x plus y coordinates of p4 are 1 and 0 so using distance formula it is simply cos of x plus y minus 1 square plus sin of x plus 1 minus 0 square so break the square it is simply after simplifying it is simply 2 minus 2 cos x plus y here p1 p3 and p4 p2 p4 or the corresponding side is corresponding one side of one pair of these two congruent triangles so this means that distances are equal when distances are equal this means that first one equals to second first equation equals to second which implies that 2 minus 2 cos x cos y This 2 minus 2 cos x cos y plus 2 sin x sin y equals to 2 minus 2 cos x plus y. That is this or we simply get from this cos of x plus y equals to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. So this is the required sum of the angles of a trigonometric function for this function. So cos of x plus y equals to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Now if we put in this equation if we put y equals to minus 1. So in place of y we will simply put minus y so this means that cos of x minus y here equals to cos of x cos of minus y minus sine of x into sine of minus y but cos of minus y is cos y you know it sine of minus y is minus sine y this means that cos of x minus y equals to cos x cos y plus sine x sine y so this is another identity or cos of x minus y equals to cos x cos y plus sin x sin y now if we put because here x and y are arbitrarily angles so we may put you know any number or we may replace this x by any number this means that if we put x equals to 90 that is pi by 2 in first from first cos of 90 plus y that is pi by 2 plus y equals to cos pi by 2 because x is here here x is 90 that is pi by 2 cos y minus sin 90 sin y now cos 90 is 0 
cos y is cos y minus sin 90 is 1 minus sin y. 0 into cos y is 0 or simply in RHS we get minus sin y. This means that sin of 90 plus y. Sin of 90 plus y is minus sin y. Now here, so this means that if we consider 90 plus something, now 90 plus angle, it is in first, second quadrant. You know, in second quadrant, if we consider quadrants are like this, if I consider this, this is a quadrant, first quadrant, second quadrant. Now 90 plus uh, so, uh, something is here. Now cos of 90 plus y. Now the value is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, the value of cos is negative. That is why here we have minus sin y. Now similarly, if we put x equals to 90 in equation b, that is in here. In this equation it is similarly from this cos of 90 minus y is sine y it is sine y now in first quadrant 90 minus something 90 minus it is 90 90 minus something is in first quadrant in first quadrant cos is positive that is why sine y is here sine y is positive that is plus sine y this is in first quadrant Similarly, we can prove this sine of x plus y equals to sine of x cos y plus cos of x sine y or sine of x minus y equals to sine x cos y minus cos x sine y. So these in this way we proved four important identities. Now we will prove this one. This is the identity or the formula sine of 2x prove that sine of 2x is twice sine x cos x it is also equals to twice tan x upon 1 plus tan square x 1 plus tan square x here we have one identity which is sine of x plus y equals to sine x cos y plus cos x sine y Now, if we put in equation first x equals to y because this uh, first one is true for each and every x, for arbitrarily x and y, which implies that in particular it is true for x equals to y. Now, if we put x equals to y, we get x plus x is here, x plus x is here, 2, uh, 2x, that is sine 2x, it is cos x, sine x cos x, here sine x cos x, so this means that it is simply twice sine x cos x, that is sine 2x is 2y sine x cos x. Now here, if we replace, here in this sign, we have to again prove that sine 2x is also equal to 2y tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. Now if we put here, now we, we will replace this tan by sine x and cos x. Tan x is sine x upon cos x, which implies that twice tan x upon 1 plus tan square if we replace it by sin x cos x we simply get sin 2x that is sin 2x is twice tan x upon 1 plus tan square x now the second one is we have to prove that cos 2x equals to cos square x minus sin square x now the first one now it is also equals to 1 minus twice sin square x also equals to twice cos square x minus 1 also equals to 1 minus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square x. Now, we know that cos of x plus y is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. If we put x equals to y because this is true for each and every x, which implies that cos of 2x is cos square x minus sin square x directly. Now, it is first one. Now, we will use the identity cos, cos square x plus sin square x is 1. Now, replace cos square by this. We will get you know this one now if we replace sine we get this one now for this one this last one how to prove this we re simply replace tan by sine and cos that is we firstly take here the rhs 1 minus tan square upon 1 plus tan square put tan equals to x sine x upon cos x you will get cos 2x so in this way now this is the sine 2 and cos 2 Inshallah, in tomorrow's lecture, we will discuss or we will prove cos 3x, sin 3x and tan 3x. So, thank you.